Let's get back into business. I believe that we are more and ready to learn about the uh, endless opportunities that you'll be able to find in the CLMVT regions from the people who know best here. They'll be presenting some of the uh, highlights, facts and figures for us. Without further ado, I'd like to take this opportunity to call upon to the stage His Excellency, Mr. Pan Sarasak, Minister of Commerce of Cambodia. Her Excellency, Mrs. Kimani Ponsena, Minister of Industry and Commerce of Lao PDR. His Excellency, Dr. Tan Min, Minister of Commerce of Myanmar. And Her Excellency, Ms. Chutima Bunya Prapatson, Acting Minister of Commerce, Thailand. And also, I'd like to welcome onto the stage our moderator for the session. She is the editor at large of Nikkei Asian Review, senior fellow at the Institute of Security and International Studies of Jalalongkorn University in Thailand. So, also, please warmly welcome Ms. Gwen Robinson. A big hand, please, ladies and gentlemen. And now I'd like to hand over the stage to Ms. Robinson. Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. We're here today to talk about CLMVT as a region of endless opportunities uh, as part of our forum on the new value chain hub of Asia. Uh, as you heard, I'm Gwen Robinson of the Nikkei Asian Review and Chulalongkorn University. We're very fortunate to have with us today very distinguished panelists for our ministerial conversation and you've just uh, been introduced to them, so I won't waste any more time because we are on a quite a time, uh, tight time frame. Um, and I'd just like to set the scene very briefly of the kind of dynamics of the region we're looking at today and uh, what our esteemed ministers are, are dealing with in terms of the issues. As you all know, over the past decade, the CLMVT region has seen a steady increase in economic integration in step with overall growth and investment, driven by burgeoning international trade, direct investment from within and outside the region, expanding production networks and growing affluence amongst its populations. The share of ASEAN intra-regional trade to total trade volumes within CLM TVT region has nearly doubled. In the broader context of ASEAN, CLMVT, as we all know, is at the heart of a region of nearly 700 million people, which makes it attractive as a single market, as well as increasingly a single production base. As a result, we're seeing the emergence of an increasingly vibrant and interconnected value chain across different industries in this region. This kind of regional value chain linkage has helped strengthen CLMVT trade, investment and economic growth, both intra-regional and as a whole. Of course, as we've heard, uh, recent developments have raised new challenges, but as well, new opportunities in the task of value chain building in CLMVT. We've seen some weak global trade recovery and trade frictions and concerns about economic and political fragility in some parts of the world. Some of these trends have weighed on CLMVT exports and its nascent regional production value chain. But at the same time, there is a tremendous upside we're seeing in this region, uh, including growing evidence that trade and investment diversion uh, could benefit CLMVT countries and more broadly the region as a whole, and that the regional value chain might expand even more quickly than before. And we can see this in new trade and investment flows in and out of the region. Again, you know, we're also seeing the impact of the technological rise and the CLMVT's potential as a rising value chain hub in the coming era of the fourth industrial revolution. So given this economic landscape, the region's policymakers are pondering both short and long-term implications in strategies to deal with the challenges and exploit the opportunities and enhance the region's competitiveness to achieve even more connected economic integration amongst CLMVT and beyond. So far, we've heard from expert speakers at this forum including, of course, His Excellency the Prime Minister this morning and last night His Excellency Ambassador Kishore Mabubani of Singapore about the evolving dynamics in the region. But 
in terms of the nitty gritty, that is enhancing the mechanisms and policies, I'd like to turn to our panelists and ask uh, first perhaps an overall question. What do you see as the key potential and opportunities of the CMBT region to attract trade and investment, particularly perhaps the new areas of opportunity now opening up? So I'd like to kick off perhaps with uh, His Excellency uh, at the end, uh, Mr. Pan Sorosak, Minister of Commerce, Cambodia. Uh, hello. <laughs> Glad to be here. Thank you. Uh, and I'm really happy to meet all of you here and uh, um, very honored to uh, be at the panelists as part of the panelists talking about the uh, CLMVT opportunities. As you know that uh, CLMVTs have an ideal geographical location. You already see that it's right smack at the middle of uh, ASEAN. And they have sizable workforce um, with low cost. Some of us here are LDCs, so we have uh, LDCs mean least developing countries, so there's a lot of opportunities uh, of having low cost um, a workforce that uh, can supply, as you see the uh, presentations from last, uh, previous uh, presentations from Morgan's, um, GP Morgan's. As I always see challenges create opportunities. It's not just that, uh, you know, um, Prime Minister Chan Ocha also mentioned that uh, developed countries came from developing countries. And that's a uh, you know, we all have to move forward on this. CLMVT have uh, potentials also to strengthen regional value change, exports industries regionally and globally. Without any saying, we've seen that uh, going on already. We call um, talking about Cambodia, it's Thai plus, or Vietnam, Vietnam plus, which uh, allow Cambodia to help uh, to be part of this the value change already whether it's electronics, whether it's vehicle uh, uh, components, or food change, and so on. That uh, allowed you to, uh, to see, not just the, as one country, but as CLMVT as a region. So we are helping each other in that regard. Special economic zones also creates, you know, like Cambodia, Excellency is, uh, Sopchenda Sophia is in charge of special economic zone in Cambodia. I think we have a big and a lot of a special economic zone around the, the borders, which allow you to move your components, or your, your factories into, the, uh, into another country that will take advantage or will give advantage to you more in order to supply to other countries across the border. Special economic zone is, is very important that it's like, a, you know, um, a one roof, um, one roof, uh, all what you just move in, and uh, you have all those utilities and all those services ready for you, including administrative uh, utilities. I would like to mention that uh, investors uh, is thinking. You know, J.P. Morgan uh, talk about that a little bit uh, on on this on the uh, what needs to be done, not what needs to be done to shift because of the. Uh, uh, issues and the, the problems uh, nowadays in, uh, in the world about trade war. And that's, uh, that's very important also whether you, sh you, want, you want to see where your um, next investments that give you the most potential on that. And CLMVT has very, uh, what I f would call flexible and also uh, very uh, low, uh, low uh, tariffs in, in the sense that it uh, gives a lot of opportunities for you to diversify uh, for your goods and, and exports. There is a knowledge also uh, of spillover and technology transfer by having more investments that will bring along more jobs, opportunities, as well as technology transfer, help to enhance its uh, skills productivities and improve living standard for our people so as to improve uh, CLMVT's economies. This 
um, always uh, our, our case, we need to improve uh, our economies and within the uh, strength and the, the, uh, the uh, directive and advice from our leaders, uh, ASEAN leaders, that we need to work furthermore on improving the intra-trade intra in ASEAN. And CLMVT is a start because the fact that we all have all those ingredients there, um, low cost uh, laborers and also high technologies like Thailand has bigger economies, Vietnam now is moving up, but there's a lot of spillovers on, on this and that will make the, the, uh, the, the whole countries, um, the whole region I'm talking about, this is sub-region of uh, the uh, ASEAN, which allows you to uh, benefit from each other. It's not part of that you are, we are competing each other here. We are working and complementing each other in, uh, in a sense that to make, uh, I always say that to make uh, a product made in ASEAN or make in a CLMVT, that's, that's very important. I don't have to mention about uh, challenges because uh, JP Morgan's mentioned about this on um, infrastructures, trade policies, lack of skilled laborers, or young populations, and uh, skill. You know, uh, Vietnam has the top um, skilled people and also educations. Um, but we are in a process of doing the same. You know, the case of Cambodia. There's a lot of reforms going on, deeper reforms. For example, the education systems now uh, have introduced, the Ministry of Education have introduced what we call STEM, STEM, Science and Technology Education, um, it, which uh, allows you to, uh, uh, the program allows you to, uh, uh, students to, to move into more scientific um, field and uh, be uh, uh, good at that. Of course, the, with smaller economies, with smaller um, populations, we can move faster, even faster, like uh, Chief P. Morgan's mentioned about also, smaller population, sizable population, things can move faster. You look at the, uh, the case of Singapore or uh, other countries that have smaller populations, the economy can move faster. I, uh, this, is, this is what we can see Challenges create opportunities. Challenges allow you to, uh, to think about where to move, where you can benefit from, from it. Ch uh, Vietnam's case is part of CLMVT, of course, but Vietnam's case is more of a, a, a um, lesson or, or experience, good experience learned now, and we can um, I've talked with uh, Excellency uh, Chutema that it might be overheating. The economy might be overheating. So that it's you, uh, the rest of us, part of uh, CLMV, T minus V, can, can hold that, can take that. That's, uh, that's something that we can work together as, as a region, as a sub-region of ASEAN. Thank you. Thank you very much for those thoughts, uh, Your Excellency. We'll return to that and your very good points, including about SEZs and uh, uh, labor and te technology transfers. I'd next like to turn to Her Excellency, Mrs. Kemani Ponsana, uh, Minister of Industry and Commerce in Lao PDR, uh, for your thoughts. Thank you. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to this uh, very important CLMVT forum. In my view, despite the rising trade war between the well, two largest economies, ASEAN, including CLMVT, should still remain open to trade and investment. However, instead of relying on exports, we should focus on regional integration via ASEAN economic community as well as the different regional settings such as CLMVT. At the CLMVT level, we should continue to improve our in terms of transport infrastructure, simplification of cross-border 
legislation to reduce our production costs in order to be competitive, increase the intra-regional trade as well as attract major investors like uh, we just uh, heard about Vietnam case very well in, in attracting foreign investors. In doing so, I also think that COMVT will be a better position to accommodate the new shift of trade pattern, readjust of existing global value chain, as well as imminent FDI relocation, future FDI flow trend arising from the trade tension among the big players. Uh, this is uh, really time for CLMBT to get the uh, benefits, opportunities by uh, by um, making the challenges uh, not too big for us. Uh, I also would like to mention that in my view, formation of regional value chain already have been taking place in CLMVT. Uh, we see Thailand, Vietnam more advanced already in, in this. Um, Cambodia, Laos and Myanmar are in the earlier stages of industrialization and thus priority to neutral industries that leverage cheap labor or natural resources such as agriculture, fisheries, food production, as well as tourism and service sector. I wish to share that Laos, the participation in value chain already had a humble start in early 80s when we started with our government sector uh, and then this sector has uh, uh, also uh, contributed to the economic growth of Lao PDR. But then now we are shift to the uh, export earning of manufacturing um, to non-government manufacturing include um, com assembling parts, component electronic, automotive, wire hardness, so on and so forth. With water resources, fertile soil, and low-cost labor, Laos may have comparative advantage in creating precision machinery, such as the mineral processing industry, agro-processing industry, electrical and electronic assembly. In addition to that, abundant natural resources not only offer potential export for us, on raw material, materials, but also a chance to upgrade industry processing resources in the region and producing added value. Last but not least, better efficiency in electricity generation as well as transmission could empower manufacturing in Laos because we do have the advantage in, in hydropower. But in terms of challenges, um, I do see that um, for the market access as a LDC or even within ASEAN, the six ASEAN countries already opened the market for us since 2010. And then we also gained the market access from Cambodia, Vietnam, and Myanmar starting from 2018. But only market access does not um, matter the uh, increase of export of Laopedia because uh, we do have the supply side constraint and competitiveness of the Lao private sector rather than through effective of only tariff commitment reduction and a commitment. Similarly, I also see that um, in terms of NTM, it also um, much uh, effect on our uh, export or doing business. In fact, st streamlining as well as removal of uh, non-tariff measures would be uh, important topic for us, maybe also uh, particularly CLMVT to discuss in more regional um, fora. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellency, for that. Uh Interesting points, particularly about uh, also focusing on uh, more regional integration. Um, so I'd like uh, to return to that, but uh, now turn to uh, 
Dr. Uh, His, Your Excellency, Dr. Tan Mint, Minister of Commerce uh, from Myanmar, uh, to give us your views on uh, the situation. Thank you. Uh, good morning, all of you. May I brief on briefly on how CLMB as a group and uh, the individual country to respond to the prevailing uh, war economic situation prevailing right now here. CLMB as part of the uh, ASEAN. ASEAN is cooperating with uh, uh, as a cooperating partner of uh, here China, the US, Japan, and Korea, India, like that. So, so ASEAN, CLMB's uh, growth rates uh, uh, is uh, a prevailing, uh, retaining the here uh, reasonable. Uh, sustainable group of uh, here economy uh, during these day, but here uh, all of the here uh, the people here, here may agree with that uh, here right now global the, the global and regional uh, the growth is uh, slowing down, reflecting the here uh, the uh, it broke base uh, economy weakness in economy. Uh, the trading uncertainty, uh, the financial voluntary, and uh, other the job issue. So due to that, uh, affecting maybe affecting uh, the uh, CMB uh, also other ASEAN country. In this case, how can we respond to uh, those uh, Chinese situation if that those uh, borderlines uh, continues uh, further happening longer? So it may be affecting the here. Uh, the investment and trading the, the brightest in the CLV country. But beyond the event, if uh, that situation, yeah, uh, here uh, continuing, beyond the, the, the economic uh, here aspect uh, affecting the here uh, like that, uh, political uncertainty, uh, geopolitical issue, and such a reason. Due to that reason, but, uh, to catch up the Chinese situation, we have to prepare uh, the SA <coughs> group. Uh, of the uh, CLMP or individual country. Uh, for the group exercise, we have to promote the, the as earlier the presenter here, uh, present is uh, clearly to promote the, uh, the global value chains and half uh, the, 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 uh, in the CLMP country uh, together with the other, the, uh, uh, other uh, uh, the ASEAN country. Here, we had to promote uh, here cooperation among the here members of the CLMB. We have uh, a good relation. Now we have good relation uh, with through SA Economic Corridor, uh, the, the crowd for the, the, the crowd, crowd for our agreement. Also here uh, the business to business community. Also the uh, private participation in in the, the, the uh, in the home weekend here. Uh, they, they respond to the here uh, Chinese situation. This is a uh, here uh, to do as a uh, group exercise uh, to respond to the Chinese situation. Because uh, if uh, here those situation here, uh, for example, around now the Chinese uh, China is uh, here uh, the, the restructuring economy is uh, here to respond to the here uh, uh, influence of the trade tension and. Uh, for other headwinds uh, here situation in China. So due to that reason, uh, some of the uh, 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 the industry groups are uh, checking out of the country to look for the greener place. Yeah. In this weekend here, uh, yeah, uh, the attract uh, those uh, here incoming and invest, investor or uh, yeah, the, 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 the industry groups uh, into the uh, CLMB. Right now here we understand that uh, some of the as a earlier presentation, some of the here industries are now coming into the Vietnam, Vietnam, here, uh, Thailand, and Laos available for 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 them. For the here, uh, if Thailand uh, here is a, here, uh, Thailand is an uh, industrial base for uh, industrial automobile and uh, industrial good uh, and consumer good. Also, uh, Vietnam. Uh, it's in the industry base for here uh, electronics and telemedia communication. So in this case, uh, for uh, for such of uh, the, the activities, uh, China, Thailand, and yeah, uh, 
di di kampau dia ready to accept to attract those here transfer investor from here particular from China. Also, Myanmar, Lao Cambodia is a less developing country. It's a agriculture here producing country. In this case, we need to promote here agriculture product delivery to supplies to substitute China to the here U.S. market or China market. Alia China is important here. Did 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 agriculture products are from the U.S. Who can do it? So in this case, we need to cooperate with each other. They have to do the common vision on how to here develop the global value chain and then the connecting with the here. China or ASEAN, China or U.S. or other here neighboring country, including Japan, Korea, and here India. For Myanmar, we have to Alia, Alia until now. We do respond to the here introducing here promoting investment and trade in Myanmar. We already here did amended the here new investment law. New company law, those laws here inviting the here FTI, also giving the equitable treatment, equitable treatment to both FTI and domestic counterpart. Also, we regulate the here our economy to get more. We open the door, open to the the outside world to come and invest in Myanmar. For example, here. We have the right that the banking system, financial system, do I do to use that the foreign the banking branch to make loan to the 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 corporate finance corporate the companies and others. In this case, however, we have many challenges like in other country. Yeah, even though we had good the opportunity. For the social, for the new investor, but we are in lack of here in the infrastructure like that here, road, bridge, electricity, and logistics, port, and here coastal like that. So in this, it is here to to come over those challenges. It is here attract attract it case for new investor in Myanmar. Also, we have here. The, 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 the institutional the, the arrangement, like that, we have uh, uh, the, the amended the here new uh, the, 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 the consumer law, also the IMB law, also the, 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 uh, the, the competition law, and with, together with the uh, certain comedy to handle the total. In this case, uh, the, those are here, the institutional, the, the, Arrangement together. We need to cooperate cooperate with the other ASEAN countries. So in this case, that we can hear challenges by here laying down the here foundation to attract the here investments and here coming from China or China or somewhere else. So. That is as our the cooperation, the activities, improving that that the changes situation the wider economy. Thank you very much, Minister. That was a good rundown of. Actually, we'd like to return to the theme of promoting cooperation within CM LVT in a minute. But finally, for this round, I'd like to turn to. Uh, acting Thailand's acting Minister of Commerce, uh, Kun Chutima, uh, to give the view uh, from where you sit now. <laughs> Over to you. Thank you very much, Gwen. Good morning to everyone. Uh, well, I think we are a bit behind the schedule, <laughs> so perhaps we could not exchange that much as you intended to be, but I try to be brief. Uh, these are the economic uh, figures that my team has prepared to show to you that uh, CLMV 
as a sub-regional, which Thailand is right in the middle of CM, CLMV. We try to figure out that uh, how much potential we have in this area. And when we calculate the figure in the combined uh, figures, we find all those figures are very attractive and the economic performance is very impressive. So I have no doubt that this region still, they already attract foreign direct investment, but I believe that there will be more and more foreign direct investment come into this region. As mentioned by Mr. Chidaya this morning, that the global value chain uh, is not new for us. Actually, the CLMVT countries as a whole has been an active participant with the regional and global value chain, especially with countries in Asia like Japan, China, Korea, Taiwan. Those are the countries that we have the, uh, 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 most connected with the value chain. And uh, in 2017, uh, the trade among the CLMVT countries with the world is account for 951 billion US dollars, while the intra trade among the CLMVT country is 75 US, uh, 75 billion US dollars. So there is a lot of room that we can expand uh, among ourselves. And uh, I think the point on the foreign direct investment that uh, flow into this part of the world, I don't need to emphasize that the figure is very remarkable. Uh, we saw the, we see the figure in 2017, the combined FDI flow to CLMVT countries uh, increased to be the record level in, the, in, in 2017 and it still remain for uh, the last three years. So all the countries has received the highest ever record flow inflow in 2017. It's increased by 28% uh, to 31.9 billion US dollar, which is account for 23% of foreign direct investment flow in ASEAN. So this show you how attractive this uh, CRMV and T, who are in the middle, has in increased the foreign direct investment. But for us, Thailand, since we are located in the middle of the CLMB countries. So the key, uh, f the key factor, the economic performance that has uh, come around this uh, region, Thailand give the most important to the connectivity issue. That's why uh, we have, uh, we have several program, several projects initiated by uh, the government. And also, these projects are put in place within the ASEAN uh, framework when we discuss about the AEC. Some of them, or if not all, is uh, a part of the AEC blueprint plan in terms of uh, transportation. The CLMVT countries uh, uh, strategically situated in the Southeast Asia Peninsula, and we have a long seashore and a land connected that span from the Indian Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. As you can see from the figure, there is an from the slideshow that are an extensive networks of road and rail transport, which have been built in the region and is currently connected to South China, Southern China and could be extended to India. There is a project in uh, our plan under the AEC that there is the th uh, we would like to connect with India to the th trilateral highway, which will link from Massot of Thailand, go through Myanmar via Mandalay, and then uh, reach to Moray in India. This is being built already, and uh, the part uh, from Thailand has been completed, uh, and India as well, so now it says uh, we are waiting for uh, 
Myanmar to, to connect these uh, two linkages, then we are going to be able to connect from uh, other ASEAN countries to Thailand and go down to India in the near future. And it is expected that this highway should be completed in the next two years. We have a very uh, high hope and extend all that we can do to help Myanmar to complete that within the two years. Apart from connectivity, I think there is other, uh, there is other interesting point, point that I'd like to raise to you, that uh, if we enhance connectivity, uh, if we enhance connectivity with the BRI initiative of China, Belt and Road Initiative, it would complement to the crucial project of GMS network with the CLMVT, which I can show you that there are important uh, corridors in this sub-regional. The first one is the East-West Economic Corridor. This will connect the South China Sea and Indian Ocean, and it will pass through Vietnam, Laos, Thailand, and Myanmar to the other side. Then you have also North and South Southern Economic Corridor, which will start from the south of China, Kunming, through Thailand, and it will uh, pass through China, uh, Thailand, the uh, North-South Economic Corridor will start from, uh, if we start from Kunming, China, then it will come down to Laos and then go down to Thailand or either way around. And this is uh, already in the pro work in progress. Another economic corridor that we are working on it is the Southern Economic Corridor, which will connect the Andaman Sea and the Gulf of Thailand and, con and the countries along the Indian Ocean Rim. Myanmar, Thailand, Cambodia, and Vietnam, these countries will be benefit from the development of this uh, infrastructure. And there are tremendous opportunities can be offered to strengthen the trade and investment among us. The value chain activities related to this uh, being built infrastructure, there will be a lot of uh, sectors that would be benefit. For example, the agriculture uh, sector, the industry sectors, and services. It can be developed a lot of new industry, new business through this uh, connectivity. We are thinking not only the uh, hardware of infrastructure connectivity. We are right now already uh, proposed to discuss among this country about the soft infrastructure in terms of rules and regulations, uh, the ways to create the economic and trade friendly environment, speedy the process of clearance of uh, goods through each of us broader, especially how can we agree on the uh, regulation on the road so that we can facilitate those businessmen when they have to uh, send their goods through the road or rail through the custom border of each country. These are the soft uh, infrastructure in terms of rules and regulation are also being discussed amongst uh, ASEAN countries plus the CLMV country that we are giving them hands where they need to help them to be able to revise and harmonize their rules and regulation in accordance with each other. So as mentioned uh, by Minister Kemeni, huh, we, are, we have a complementary strength between the CLMBT countries that we can help each other to work out the concept that laid out our uh, AEC blueprint, that is to become a single production base. Each of us has a very unique, uh, unique point, unique factor that I think you will be able to share that with us so we can become a single uh, production base as we, as we plan. For example, uh, Cambodia and Myanmar, uh, you have a very 
a good labor intensive uh, and an industry that I believe that it could be lift up to be a leading industry. For example, like uh, agro food industry, uh, textile and garment industry. I think that those are industries that you, you will be able to use your uh, advantage to build up the industry in this part. For uh, Vietnam, they are very well advanced nowadays and they have done a lot of uh, free trade agreement with countries outside the ASEAN region. So Vietnam could be also the gateway of all the production of uh, goods and services in this area. So I think there are uh, a lot of uh, attractive economic factors and the performance that we have been done so far. I think the, those investors who are interested in this part of the world, they would consider to come to invest in this area and we are already prepared the hard infrastructure and soft infrastructure that should be completed uh, according to the AEC, AEC blueprint that we have put in place. So uh, that is why I believe that there is an, a lot of opportunities and it is really an endless opportunities in this part of the, in this part of the region. Of course, there is no, not only opportunities, they always come with the challenges, but those challenges is for us to overcome, not to give up. <laughs> and uh, for RCN, uh, we always have a program that we are giving assistance uh, to our CLM and we countries when needed. And these are uh, programs that already uh, stipulated in, in the plan. So I believe that uh, if we help each other more and more to, to increase the, um, the knowledge, the way how to handle rules and regulation between our country, especially in this part of the region, then trade and investment will be able to expand more and more than whatever it has been in the past. And those challenges will be overcome at the end. Thank you very much, Kun Chudima, for an excellent uh, rundown. And to say, we had hoped to have uh, a few more questions, but uh, we're just about out of time. Uh, I just wanted to say, uh, in terms of the questions, uh, you know, one big one was about possible possibilities for how the CLMVT countries can uh, collaborate together, how you can build on uh, these uh, ideas, but I think you panelists have actually answered that with your uh, focuses on things like the development of SEZs, uh, all the impressive uh, corridor development we've seen here, and your mention of hard and soft uh, uh, measures. Unless there's uh, one of you would like to, I know uh, uh, you look like you might want to say something. There's time for one comment if you'd. Uh, uh, like uh, Your Excellency. Thank you for allowing me to have a short comment here. Can, can, I, uh, can you open the uh, GMS map on, on your slide? Slide, uh, if um, possible. Um, again, for um, investors and uh, business people who would like to do business in uh, CLMVT, uh, you, you need to think as a whole, uh, you know, the whole a region, as you know, um, you can see that GMS, you can see these uh, mm -hmm. infrastructures being worked on. I, I would say that um, uh, Excellency Chudima mentioned about uh, the infra hard infrastructures like roads, for example, like you see here, uh, they are uh, more or less done, you know, in our countries, uh, at least for, um, uh, I, I noticed uh, these the roads uh, are being um, constructed and, and I would say probably 99% done. And uh, you can see anywhere you go, with this road here, you always cross Cambodia. That's uh, something you need to, to think about. And another thing that I would like to mention about, don't put your eggs in one basket. So in the new region, is you have to think about how you can um, spread out uh, your, your risk um, you know, throughout the C, uh, CLMVT uh, so that you can uh, uh, minimize your risk and uh, uh, create your benefiting or take advantage of uh, advantages 
from our uh, from our CLMBTs region. Uh, that, that's very important for you to see. And we already have connections also with railroads, you know, to Thailand now. And I'm pushing for uh, to use railroad uh, across the border from Thailand to Cambodia using goods transportations rather than just only roads. So you can see more and more almost every day, um, if not months, uh, a lot of improvements within this region, CLMVT, that allow us to complement each other to make to make sure that we all, uh, as a region, be moving uh, forward uh, on our development and economic development. Thank you. Thank you very much for that uh, extra insight, uh, Excellency Pan Sorosak. Uh, and uh, on that uh, note, uh, we are out of time. So I'd, I'd just like to thank uh, uh, our panelists who have come from uh, around the region to give us those insights and, uh, and uh, wish you luck. Uh, and we will remember, Pan Sorosak, your, your point that some of the oldest lessons are still the best and freshest. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So thank you very much, everyone. Big hand for the panellists, please. Thank you very much. We'd also like to thank Ms Gwen Robinson, our moderator. And